let's look at Horner's algorithm for evaluating a polynomial. And this is best illustrated using an example. So what we do is factor out x. And we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 plus 1. And we keep repeating this process by factoring out another x. So we have x by 2x plus 3 minus 4 plus 1. And now we work from inside out. So we initialize our sum to 2, which is the first coefficient in the polynomial. And given that we're evaluating the polynomial for x equals 8, well, we multiply the sum by 8. So we have 8 by 2 plus 3. Then from inside to outside, we have s is equal to x multiplied by s, where s is equal to the previous calculation, being 8s plus 3. And then we add the next coefficient, which is minus 4. And finally, we multiply this result by x again. So I have s is 8s, and plus the next coefficient. And we can test if this works. So we have s is initially 2, and then s is equal to 8, multiplied by s, which is 2, plus 3, which is 19. And repeating this, we have s is 8 by the previous result, which is 19, plus negative 4, which is 148. And finally, we have s is equal to 8, by the previous result, which is 148 plus 1. So that gives 1185. And you can compare the result in your calculator by evaluating the polynomial when x equals 8. And now we'll write our pseudocode. So we have the inputs being the coefficients of the polynomial. So that would be c1, c2, up to cn. So in this case our coefficients are 2, 3, minus 4, and 1. And we have the number of coefficients in the array, and our value for x. And our output is s, which is the result of the evaluated polynomial. And in our first line, we initialize s to be the first coefficient in the polynomial, as we've done here. And next we have a repeated calculation. So we can use a for loop. And we start with i equals 2 to n. So we've already used the first coefficient here and we start the for loop by indexing the second coefficient in the array. And in the for loop, we have s being equal to 8, which is the value of x. And we multiply this by the previous result. So that would be s plus the coefficient i in the polynomial. which we can see over here. And finally, we output the result. So in our example, we have the coefficient 1 is 2, coefficient 2 is 3, coefficient 3 is negative 4, and coefficient 4 is 1. So first we're initializing the sum to be coefficient 1, and then we start off with i equals 2, so the sum 
is equal to x. Multiply by the previous value of s, which is 2. And here we're adding coefficient 2, which is 3. And then this for loop repeats. So when i equals 3, we have x. Multiply by the previous result. Plus coefficient 3 in the polynomial. And finally, when i equals 4, we have x by the previous result plus coefficient 4 in the polynomial. Please subscribe, like and comment to help me reach more students.